Hey guys, it's Jaden. Welcome back to a brand new video. And today we are in Canada, Montreal, for the Canadian Grand Prix. So, no rain expected for this race. But we start in position 4. So, we've got a 2, 1... Aero package here. So we switched out our engine on after the end at the end of practice session. So can we win? Another race, and we're in our third race of the season. See you on the grid. So, Nico Rosberg on pole, Seb in second, William in fourth, John Rathbone in 18th, and Alonso in fourth, Hamilton fifth, Weber sixth, three lights, five lights, and away we go! What a great start! Better than usual, that's for sure. Around the outside, inside for that corner, and we're into the lead of the Canadian Grand Prix. Gonna put it in lean mix to save some fuel, and hopefully save the tyres as well. So a long race ahead, hopefully not as long as Monaco, how it went for the race went for almost 35 minutes. That race got forever. So the end of lap one already almost. So we had an upgrade to the car, we had an aerodynamics upgrade, as the Rosberg does get past us, but we're going to do a Tom Tat going into the chicane. But anyway, yeah, we had a uh, aerodynamics upgrade to the car and uh, some better straight line speed around uh, this track. So we already have 21 cars in the race, so someone's retired in a lap one. As Rosberg drops two places. As John Redfern now enters the pit lane. For some awkward reason. So I actually really enjoyed racing around Canada on F1 2013. I've never really liked it in F1 2012, but, um, yeah. Obviously, practice and qualifying went really well for us. We would put us in practice and uh, put us in session one and two. Unfortunately, we uh, just went out on the track at the wrong time in Q3 and didn't put the lap in we wanted to, but it doesn't really matter. We're in a lead at the moment, so that's all that matters. So, um, yeah. And you tap the curbs at the end of that lap. And you tap that last chicane. So Alonso has definitely dropped back. I don't know what happened to Rosberg, but we have the fastest lap of the race. It's a lap three. 
Definitely one of the shorter tracks on the calendar. So Vettel is, well Hamilton flows in on us. I think he actually might have just got DRS, so I'm not 100% sure on that as we close in on him. Really do hope he hasn't got it. Champions, we go. But we have the thing for flashbacks. So they always come in handy, don't they? Oops, cut the corner a little too much there. We use a flashback. So we're only seven points off the championship lead, so a lot Vettel is not in the top four. So if we win this race, which will be our third race of the season, we could have the championship lead going into Britain. Bad run out of that corner that allowed Hamilton on us. So, 20 cars left in the race, so two have retired already. Two retired in the opening lap of the Grand Prix. So, got to defend against Lewis Hamilton here, who has DRS and a better straight line car. So, like 5 of 18. I'd like to know what happened to uh, Rosberg and Vettel. They went bonkers just then. We have the fastest first sector split. We were a second. So we were a second ahead of Hamilton, but that exit off that chicane was just horrible. So, um, yeah, the only reason why I left this uh, Let's Play so late is because, um, first of all, I went to uh, watch my brother do swimming lessons, and then um, went and got MotoGP 13 and been playing that pretty much all afternoon, so, so yeah, that's why I've uh, left this Let's Play so late. But anyway, meant to be picking this lap, but we'll see. So the tire is getting better as the season progresses. So we'll come in this lap, I think, and we'll uh, try to make this pit stop work as there's some carbon fibre there. Bits of a front wing laying on the floor. 
19 tiles on the trap now, so... Another tile is retired. We're going to go roaring into the pit lane as Hamilton stays out for another lap. We're going to the prime tyres. So 3.2 second pit stop. Well, that's pretty good there from Torosso. And pull, pull out in third. That's awesome. We're going straight off the racetrack. <laughs> but we'll keep going. So our tyres are cold. We're just going to try and get them up to temperature. So Felipe Massa up ahead. He's like two seconds off the road. So we should jump Lewis Hamilton in that pit stop in his pit stop phase. That's definitely what we need. So we're out of DRS zone of Felipe Massa. But now our tyres are pretty much up to temperature. Dial it down to the standard. So we pull out in front of Lewis. So if we win this, this will be the first race that we've won in the dry. Because we could have won China if the rest of the field had made a pit stop. Or if we had it one more extra lap. So... Anything could have happened in that race. Obviously, Hamilton's got better aerodynamics to be able to catch up a lot quicker. Oh, Hamilton's and up. William a hit. Hamilton has lost a spot. Lost a couple of spots. So, uh, if you're a Hamilton, Hamilton fan, sorry. I think Hamilton has retired as well. We now have 17 cars in the race now. Let's check. Right, so, Rosberg is 5th, Vettel is 7th, Hamilton's 11th. Yeah, I don't know who's... Retired. We'll find it at the end of the race. But, um... Well, we're actually pretty far ahead at this stage, so we can sort of just relax a little bit, take our time. So as, uh, my brother joins the room. So uh, eight point three seconds ahead of Fernando Alonso. So we just relax and out in front. So lap 10 now, so not many laps to run, I think we've got like 8 to go, 8 or 7 laps remaining in the uh, Canadian Grand Prix. 
So we definitely have the qualifying car, but this not the race pace. Qualifying pace were up in the top five just about every race. And yet, we struggle in the races. I don't know why. But we made a handful of that last chicane. We did set the fastest first sector, but um, that's going to change due to the, uh, the way we took that chicane. So it's Alonso 7.7 .7 seconds ahead. Oh, the not be ahead, behind. We try and chase a lap car. We hit the wall of champions. I think that might be a Williams. It's just a matter of if it is, is it? Bottas or Maldonado. Well, I had to sort of turn away from that one there, otherwise we would have slatted the war and ended our race. So, I have noticed in this game, if you use a flashback, if you don't use one for a long time, it actually brings back that flashback. So, it's actually quite handful. So Williams, well, who, which driver is it? Bottas or Maldonado? As Alonso chases us down, both Ferraris chasing us down. So that'll be good for Ferrari to have both their drivers on the podium. Much better that time through the through, through that chicane. Six seconds still. Okay. Losing probably five tenths in each, in each sector. We really need to work on how to take that chicane better. But with six, so we pulled away from Alonso there. So, uh, Malinato gets out of the way. We're 6.1 seconds ahead. So, I am quite, we're, William's quite happy with the way the TARS has been set up for this Grand Prix. William loves coming to Canada. As we set the fastest lap off the race for 17 2. Six point seven seconds ahead of Fernando Alonso. So let's try and now pull away from Fernando Alonso. We've actually got some race pace now. So that aerodynamics upgrade does come in handy. So the two Ferraris battling for second and third place. I'm sure there's Team Waters there saying Alonso is faster than you. Or you're slower than Alonso, so stay there or don't overtake Fernando as Fernando's in the championship hunt. I don't know, something like that. Or you are or or you are faster than Alonso, stay behind you. I don't know, something like that. So 
five laps remaining. In the Canadian Grand Prix for 2013. So the next race on the calendar is Great Britain. There's definitely a track where we're really going to have to work hard. Haven't driven around that track yet. Except for in the classic cars, that's about it. But I haven't driven around in an F1 2013 car. So it's going to be interesting to see how that goes. So we're counting more traffic as the race progresses. So by the end of this race, we will probably have the championship lead for the first time in on this game. So we, we want to try and get all, all five seasons done by the time F1 2014 comes out. It could be possible. If I stop playing uh, MotoGP 13. And of course, Grand Theft Auto 5 coming to the channel in the next couple months. There probably will be a campaign walkthrough. And uh, an uh, online let's play with me and my mates. So, um,. Yeah, that should be coming to the channel in the next two months or so. So hopefully we had DR hopefully we have DRS. Well, we do, yay. Fitness Jules Bianchi, and that's Matt Chilton, who's in 15. So we are, so we have three laps remaining, and we're seven seconds ahead of Fernando Alonso. So, so Toro also definitely got the right development path going on at the moment. Just wish John Eric Van would hurry up and do better. Because after Great Britain, we head to Germany, and after Germany, we um, head to Hungary. Which I've never driven around. I've driven around Germany, I played around on that track uh, the other day on as a Red Bull Mark Webber in uh, Grand Prix mode, and that was just fun. That was so much fun driving around the Nürburgring. So two laps remaining. Seven seconds is the gap back to Fernando Alonso. The tire wear is really good here in Canada, so Canada's not too hard on the tires. Just wish we'd stop hitting the wall on the front and center. So I'm definitely improving through that chicane there, that's for sure. Just really attacking these final couple of laps now of the race. So 6.4 seconds back to Fernando Alonso. He has Felipe Massa on his tail. So it looks like we're going to pick up our third win of the season.
Last lap. Here we go. Let's try and pull out the fastest lap of the race as we cut the corner. But that's it. So we're green. We've got, we've got to set a personal best. So we're eight seconds ahead of Fernando Alonso. Oh, just hit a curb and just bounced over that part of that track. So I don't think we'll be done purple this time around. It's 6.7, so we definitely lost a lot of time there. But who cares? We're going to win, hopefully. Can't say anything yet because we've got the last chicane to do. Go through the Wall of Champions, okay. So we're about to lap Jules Bianchi, and we do. So we take our third win of the season. Championship lead. Woohoo, baby. Championship lead goes our way. John Redfern scoring a point for Toro Rosso. About time he scores a point. What an amazing result. That's first place, 25 points. And static with that win. That puts us to the championship table. Vettel coming home fourth. Alright, we'll tell you who didn't finish the race. Alright, so Hamilton didn't finish the race. Neither did Kimi Raikkonen. All Roman Drosjean, Mark Webber, and Nico Hulkenberg didn't finish the race. Wow. That's going to help us in the championship then. And as I say, we are... Two race wins in a row. We are on top of the ladder by six points. We're on 104. Vettel's 198, sorry. Constructors whilst we are third. 27 points behind Red Bull. Six points difference between Vettel and William 25 points separating William and Fernando Alonso so Alonso just has to has to win the next race and then pretty much win another race we'll finish ahead of us in the next race in Germany really to get back in front, in front of us so William will appreciate all the support this weekend I hope you have enjoyed it. it's been an outstanding weekend for Toro so Hope you have enjoyed it. We're still the Britain Grand Prix. See you guys. See you next time. Bye. Oh, by the way, go like William's Facebook page. Till next time. Bye.